So we've gone through a series of different drill progressions here to help you get a feel for the angle, to be able to differentiate between down the line and cross court sharp angle, and also get a feel for the different shapes depending on where you are on the court. These are all critical things. Now we're gonna talk about moving out to the ball and creating that sharp angle. This is difficult because on one hand, Ira is trying to create a sharp angle to his left, but his momentum is gonna be carrying him out to his right. And so this a lot of times gets players kind of twisted up and it's awkward for players frequently to hit this target. The key is footwork. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, so Ira, go out to the middle of the baseline, please. And um, without a ball, Ira, please come out, make contact with a sharp cross court shot. But I want you to please show us the big mistake players make with their feet. We'll see, if you, we'll see if you demonstrate it wrong correctly. Yeah, exactly. So what Ira's done here is stepped way across with his front foot. Uh, can you show us that again, please? So he's making contact way out in front. He's stepped across with his left foot and that's trapped him from being able to really fully rotate forwards towards his intended target, which is again, that short angle. So the way that we remedy this is by allowing that back foot to pivot around. Can you show us that slowly, please, Ira? Contact way out in front. His right foot is gonna come around to allow his body to open, and that makes it much more comfortable to create that sharp angle. So Kirby's gonna feed Ira some like medium difficulty shots, uh, easy to medium uh, out to the corner. Ira's target is that short target at the side tee. Watch from the side angle for his contact point to be well out in front and watch for his back foot to pivot around as he makes his swing to allow him to not only unwind and get that target, but then recover right away as well. All right, so on this next shot, Ira's gonna make contact a little further out in front to get a little bit more angle. Nice, perfect, great shot, great shot. So for those of you at home, hi Sarah. again, experiment with this. Experiment with different contact points, different shapes. That was deeper than he was aiming, so he's gonna, again, out in front a little bit more. And that was about the right angle, but went too far wide, so he's gonna shape it differently now. That was the right shape, but a little bit too far back on contact. Nice, so it's just all about making small adjustments from shot to shot. Nice. If you've studied all of these videos, then you know what tweaks to make. Awesome. And it's just a matter of going out and putting in the repetitions. Oh, oh good shot. So you saw, and this is, this is tennis. This is improvement. What you just saw, I wrote working, tweaking a little bit here, a little bit there with the shape, with the uh, timing of his swing, with his contact point. It's all about putting in the repetitions mindfully so you see where the ball goes, you make X adjustment, you then get closer to your target, keep making those, those fine-tuned small adjustments until you get to the point where you can just do it automatically. That takes time, of course. First, you have to have the knowledge. After watching these videos, you know what tweaks to make. Go out there with a basket of balls, experiment, play with it, and after a while, you'll be able to knock out these short angles with no problem.